Welcome back, everybody. So today's lesson is super important because it talks a little bit about introducing you to some of the process of using code written by other people. Um, and that's a huge part of being able to build things and change the world today in computer science. You know, you guys are entering into an era where there's a huge amount of software that's already been written. And on some level, that might make you think, oh, is there anything left for me to do? But look around you. Uh, the answer is yes. There are so many problems that are still waiting for somebody to solve them. And there's so many ways in which we're going to continue to make the world better through technology and through the tools and the ideas of computer science. But you're not starting from scratch. There is a huge amount of work that's already been done. And in many cases, this allows you to just vaunt ahead, right? You know, you don't have to solve a lot of different things that might not be a core part of the problem you want to solve. You can stand on the shoulders of giants. You can build on top of things that people have already done. And that's a huge part of any modern software project. It's not reinventing everything from scratch because that gets big and ugly and very, very difficult really quickly. It's figuring out what is my core contribution and to what degree can I leverage the work done by others? There's also this incredible sharing economy that you're entering into as a computer scientist. That's really unusual, I would argue, in computer science as a field that millions of people all over the world share what they do for free online. You know, other fields have some elements of this, but I think computer science really takes it to another level to the degree that people are willing to take the things that they've worked hard on and make them publicly available for other people to use. Sometimes for, you know, a small fee, but in many cases, the source code's right there for you to build on top of, learn from, and incorporate into your own projects. So I um, hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I will see you at the bottom.